Hello and welcome to episode 6 for our Let's Play of The Lord of the Rings. In the last episode we explored the Barrow Downs and we stumbled upon this little hideout underneath Sharky Shipping. So now we're going to need to take a look around and see what all is uh, going on here. And maybe we'll find some treasure or something in here. There's a large, this is a large office. You notice a big orc, so close to the Shire, sitting in a chair. He's asleep. He wakes with a start. He attacks you. And um, I think this is in only the enhanced version as well, but he'll actually attack you as soon as it displays that message about, excuse me, him being asleep. Otherwise, you would be given the option to sneak up on him so uh, you wouldn't get attacked. Mm -hmm. But uh, we shouldn't have too much trouble taking out a single orc, especially after getting through the Barrow Downs and all that. There we go. And uh, we'll see if we can find anything here on his table. And we do. We found a rusty key. So maybe that will uh, unlock something around here. Um, somewhere else in the hideout. There we go. It's an exit uh, outside somewhere. And uh, if we look at the map, we're actually pretty close to uh, Sharky Shipping. There it is in the bottom right hand corner. Though the ruins are ancient, the door seems in perfect repair. It is obvious to anyone that a lot of people have come and gone here recently, and that they weren't hobbits. The door is locked. Well, we'll have to see if we can do something about that. And we can. So now we have another uh, entrance in and out of the hideout down here. These sallow-faced men do not look friendly. One of them almost looks like an orc. They sneer at you. I hope you have the right question for us, the leader says, his voice definitely implying a threat. Well, these look kind of similar to the men uh, we found in the barracks. So, uh, we don't like those who enter Gorthide without permission. If you use the word you read on the piece of paper, maybe that will let us pass. Very good. You may pass, friend. You may go about your business. All right. So it looks like they won't be bothering us, for now at least. As you approach the cell, a short, emaciated hobbit with hollow eyes and matted brown hair and beard shuffles to the bars. You're not with them, he rasps. I can tell that. I can. Name's Appledore. Knob Appledore. I used to sell mining equipment up Breeway. Fernie said to bring my best goods down here. Said they were paying top coin. He laughs sharply, then coughs painfully, spitting something dark into the rancid straw. I've been living for the day when I can see old Fernie again, teeth clenched tight. He pauses, then stares wide-eyed at you through the bars. You come for the secret? Them orcs are digging out a secret in the cave. Made me dig in the big old hole, too, till the sickness come on me. Now it's just orcs digging. There's something powerful nasty down there. Even the orcs can sense it. But working the hole is still better than going the way old Grimbosh's black book. Four of my lads went that way, screaming powerful loud and long. Grimbosh comes in here and sneers his face at me, saying he's got something special in mind for me some day soon. Says, the dark thing is almost ready to come up and he needs me to finish things up. With a shudder, Nob grabs the bars and with a hardly heard whisper sobs, Say, you folks, you're not going to leave me in here now, are you? Well, it seems the least we could do to get him out of his predicament here. Um, so we'll just pick the lock here. You cannot pick this well-made lock. Well, maybe that rusty key we found will open this door. The cell door creaks open. And uh, Knob Appledore will join your party. And um, the only thing you need to do with him is uh, just escort, es escort him back to Bree, excuse me. But first we'll take a look at what we have uh, downstairs here. Athelwyn smiles. She goes to Grimbosh's side. I would do as Grimbosh says. The gray fool, Gandalf, cannot save us, but the lord of many colors can. Surrender the ring to him. There's a great orc sitting in a chair. He pulls a sword. Grimbosh knows why you are here. Surrender or Grimbosh kills you. Well, we'd be pretty sad adventurers if we were to just give up that easily. So it looks like we'll just have to take down Grimbosh and uh, Athelwyn alongside him. And she appears to be almost taken out, so one more solid hit should get her. And we'll get a chance to take the items back from her. So you don't have to worry about trading them away before you come down here.
Well, we'll have to see what kind of combat experience knob Appledore has. You have found a locked chest. You have been struck by a poison needle. There's a letter in the bottom of this chest. Uh, if you come back here later with someone who has the uh, devices skill, you can actually disarm that needle, but you don't take that much damage from it. And uh, So I just went ahead and opened it. In the bottom of Grimbosh's chest is a scroll. You read it carefully. I am interested in several matters in your area. I understand that the golden wheel may be near. It must be obtained. Any weapon of such power will be useful against my enemy, not to mention essential in finding Durin's axe. As for the voices in the stone circles that you reported, I am also interested in that. Try dropping items deliberately into the circle and record the voices that you hear. It may provide clues to the halls of Khazad Doom, which I have not visited since before the coming of Durin's bane. Your obedience is essential. Do not make enemies. As for that other matter, she is handling that. Keep your ears open, but do not meddle with it unless it comes to your doorstep. The use of forces may attract the nine riders, and they must be avoided at all costs. I am pleased with your work to date. Tell Old Nan not to bother me with non-essentials. The shipping company is only a matter of minor amusement to me, of little consequence in my overall plans. S. The scroll is emblazoned with the symbol of the white hand. Well, now we definitely know that Saruman's uh, up to something around here, and it seems that Athelwyn was in league with him all along. Uh, she did mention something about the white, or count, the white council when we first um, met her back in Buckland. The guards immediately spot you. There's the intruders, the leader shouts. Kill them. And uh, now that we have the prisoner, Nob Appledore, in our party, uh, they'll know that we're not friends of theirs, and they'll attack you on sight. But we've already taken care of Barrow Whites and a witch and uh, some orcs, and now these uh, these measly plebeian humans shouldn't be any problem for us. Especially a rough and tumble knob apple door there. Boom. There we go. And we'll just have to explore the lower level real quick before we leave Gorthad. The guards immediately spot you. There's the intruders. The leader shouts, kill them. And uh, if you come down to these guards first before the upstairs guards uh, attack you, you can uh, use one of the white hands from the store to um, and trade it to them. And they'll that's pretty much like the password for them. And they'll let you buy. But it's really not worth spending the silver coins since the, they just end up attacking you anyways at some point. There we go, knob. Boom. Hopefully this should Boom. do it. There we go. And uh, this must be where knob was talking about them digging. And uh, we have some more orcs up here. Several slave orcs are resting in the rubble. They look like they want to fight you but are too tired. And they won't attack you. Uh, you can attack them if you want to, but uh, we're kind of low on health, so we should avoid all the fights we can. And if you use perception, you can find some of their tools that they're using. And maybe we should uh, try digging ourselves and see if we can't find anything. Green vapors belch forth from the crevice, swirling and eddying around the chamber. A cold, hollow voice echoes, at last, I am free to do my master's bidding once more. The gas overwhelms you and all is darkness. There's something here that you can use. And it seems we've found the golden wheel that everyone was talking about. And there's nothing else down here that you can dig for, so you might as well explore the rest of the fortress. Yeah, but you definitely want to pick up the golden wheel. It'll make things a lot easier for you uh, in Moria, especially. The last thing anyone expected to find in this orc-infested pit was a woman's dressing room. Though the room is not the least bit frilly, your eyes and nose do not lie. Gowns and traveling clothes lie strewn here and there. 
A thick feather bed shows signs of recent occupation, and a lingering scent of perfume tantalizes the nose with subtle intrigue. Equally unfamiliar are the books and scrolls piled casually on the floor. An open tome reveals language unfamiliar even to the most learned amongst you. Mixed thoughts race through the minds of all. Is this woman a prisoner, or something more sinister? Well, we have no doubt that this is Athelwyn's room, since she's known to be working with the guys here. You see a diary. There is but a single entry. Rumor holds that Baggins is moving to Buckleberry. I will arrange to meet him there. And we know that she did just that. And uh, if you come down here, this is the last thing you can uh, find here in uh, Gorthad. Upon an altar, you see a large black tome covered in thick leather binding. It is open, and a footstool at the base of the pedestal should allow even a hobbit to read it, though it is shrouded in a palpable feeling of evil. This must be the book that Nob was telling us about. Nob says, a wise man wouldn't be reading that accursed book. Well, let's have a look anyways. Be not daunted by the sealed gate. Speak friend and enter. Well, we uh, really don't know what that means right now. At the door of seven hammers, speak both the first father's name and then the name, the number of his people. It feels as though invisible fingers are crawling through your skull. Ugh. You are briefly overwhelmed by extremely evil thoughts, thoughts that are not your own. Gazing back at the black book, you cannot help but shudder. I guess that means we should keep reading it. Where the secret flame, buried beneath the stone of Moria, only one who bears the Holy Spirit's token shall pass through the halls with no end to bask within its light. And if you read the book again, uh, the leader will actually uh, attack you. He'll turn on you and you'll need to kill him, so we're not going to do that. Instead, uh, we're going to get rid of this book so no one else has to read it. The book explodes in a flurry of fireworks that would startle even Gandalf. Its last moments are a scream of violence that chills your blood. Good riddance, I guess. Um, all those things that we read in the book are actually uh, clues uh, that will help you in Moria. And uh, in Saruman's letter, when he was talking about throwing things into the stone circles, he was talking about the stone circles that are outside that we found some treasure in. Um, and if you discard some items within the center of the circle, uh, some voices will give you more uh, clues of a similarly vague nature to those that we read in the book. So, um, I think they... Will we be stopping at Bree tonight, Mr. Frodo? Uh, I think so, Sam. Well, we all need a fireside and a bath and a proper night's sleep in a real bed. I do wish Gandalf were with us. Maybe he'll be at the inn when we get there. Maybe. But like I was saying, I think they uh, will get answered at some other point in the game, so there's really no use in getting rid of your hard-earned items. But uh, now we need to continue to Bree, and we've found the road again, so we can continue on it for a little bit anyway, without any fear of being attacked by any of the Black Riders. And uh, here at this crossroad, uh, you'll want to go to the east. If you go to the south, uh, you'll just end up being attacked by wargs, and um, there's really no... Uh, items or anything you can get down there so there's really no reason to you will not be allowed to enter the town of Bree at night well uh, there's actually a little trick you can use and you can use this for any uh, impassable barrier like this what you want to do is just sort of walk up and down along it and eventually some of your party members over here will be across on the other side and uh, you'll be able to uh, switch to one of them that's across the barrier uh, it looks like we have one of the hobbits, although we it's hard to tell which one. I think it's Mary. Well, it's day anyways, but yeah, you can use that trick to cross pretty much any impassable barrier. Just switch to one of the party members that uh, is across the border and you can easily cross it. Uh, we'll go north here. The first thing we'll need to do is return Nob uh, to his home. And uh, if only I can remember where that is. I think you want to go all the way north. and then to the east. We're going to dead end at uh, a house, and that's going to be Nob's house. Yeah, I think this is it. It is. Nob Appledore is leaving the fellowship. Nob Appledore smiles to be back in his home. Thank you for all you've done, he says, but no more adventure for me. I do have a gift for you, if you'll take it. 
uh, Durin's pick. That sounds pretty important, and uh, you'll definitely want to take that with you. That will help uh, along with the quest that we need the Golden Wheel for. Uh, so now you'll want to head back to the uh, east, and we're going to go back to that first crossroad that we found when we uh, entered Bree. Just ignore all the hobbits and everybody for now. But we are going to go into a handful of these other buildings. Uh, and then you'll go to the south when you get back to that crossroad and follow it around to the east. And our first stop is going to be at the Prancing Pony Inn. Above the wide arch, a fl wide flat signboard swings in the breeze, showing a fat white pony reared up on its hind legs. Over the door was painted in white letters, The Prancing Pony by Barlamin Butterbur. From somewhere inside, a merry song begins, and many cheerful voices loudly join in the chorus. Well, this is where we are said, uh, it is said we're going to meet Gandalf. Um, but uh, I think I'm going to cut this video off here, and we'll um, see what is in store for us in The Prancing Pony in the next video.